Even in the calm of the Tehran cafe, the presidential election is on everyone's minds. Mir Hussein Mousavi is the main challenger to President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. His rallies draw thousands, many of them youngsters. They say they're fed up with restrictions imposed when Ahmadinejad took power four years ago. We want freedom of speech. When a professor expresses an opinion, he shouldn't be afraid of being sanctioned. When a journalist writes, he shouldn't fear being imprisoned. Ahmadinejad's rallies also draw huge crowds. His supporters appreciate his anti-corruption policies and refusal to give up the country's nuclear research program, despite international pressure. For them, it's a question of national pride. He's a courageous, good man. His acts are in keeping with his words. He thinks about other people, about the disenfranchised, not about his own interests. Ahmadinejad's policies are mainly targeted towards the poor, Musavi's towards the middle and upper class. He's backed by reformers former President Mohammad Khatami, who had huge support from young voters. And in a country where six Iranians out of ten are under 30, that's crucial. Mr. Bir Hussein Musavi tries to give and send uh, two kind of signals. Some of them uh, faces to the requirements and the needs of the teenage people about their liberty. And uh, some of them is the slogans to the, uh, that people, they are older, for example, about the justice, about the jobs and, and other things. Observers believe it was abstention by young voters that allowed Ahmadinejad to take power. Making sure they get to the ballot box could be key in winning what promises to be a tight race.